Hello again, YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a comic haul from PGH Comic Experts Flea Market Stand and a half price books. Got a few books from them too. I uh, met PGH Comic Expert. Uh, please subscribe to him. Uh, check out his videos down below. Uh, super nice guy. He had uh, quite a setup there. Uh, it was pretty decent. Uh, he had a bunch of cool books that I wish I could have bought, but. I've ended up buying a few books and a couple prints off them, so I thought I made out pretty good. Uh, we had a, quite a few customers there, so you know, we were talking in between customers and everything I get. Super nice guy. So. We'll definitely hang out some other time, too. I mean, but uh, I'll show you the books first here. Uh, first up, I picked up I never read anything or read, um, dealing with this character, so it's a Megaton Man. Let's go like that. Nope. There's a reason why I do the hand videos, <laughs> but this is uh, issue one. I picked it up. I figured I'd give it a try. And also picked up. Uh, I know the one, the Savage Dragon, so I picked that up too. This one's actually signed by Dawn Simpson, so you made it sweeter. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. I figured, yeah, you gotta try something, try something different once in a while. Uh, next up, anytime you see a Bernie Wrightson cover, I think it's by law you should pick it up. But uh, this is the Punisher. This is issue three, Frank Castle coming out of the grave. So yeah, I thought I had the first issue of this series, but I don't. So it'll be something I'll be looking out for. Could have been. Um, next up, I picked up the Harley's little black book variants and stuff like that. I only picked up, I think I picked up two of them. I didn't get the Green Arrow or the Superman, but now I have Green Arrow, which is pretty cool. Tim Sale cover. And I love the black and whites. So I always pick those ever anything <laughs> if I get a chance. Uh, lastly, I picked up off from comic book wise um, was Batman issue 50. I didn't have this. I didn't buy the variant of this. So it's pretty awesome. And as I've been going back through all the, like, every time back issues and stuff, like, I've been finding a lot of new 52 Batman variants. The rest of the variants I'm not really caring about, but the Batman stuff, I try to get as much of that I can. Uh, pretty soon, I think I'm pretty close to filling up a new 52 of just Batman by himself. <laughs> Filling up a short box full with all the variants that I got now. But yeah, anytime I, they're coming down in price too. You left the bag in too, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, anytime I go through any of these, I always look to see what Batman variants I don't have and I pick them up. Uh, the only thing I'm missing really from that set is Batman number one first printing. It will be mine. But uh, I'm not paying 80 bucks for it. <laughs> uh, next up, I picked up a couple prints off them too. PGH Comic Expert, link down below. Um, see if I get that in the screener. Yeah, even my wife was like, yeah, this is pretty nice. I might have a good chance of keeping them in the living room after I get them framed. So, But yeah, can't go wrong with these old Universal stuff. I mean... It's a nice print. I mean, got Boris Karloff as the mummy. And Battle of as Dracula. So that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, oh no, this is a nice trip out there. It was a nice little community flea market. Uh, I didn't get a chance to look at any other stands or anything like that. I wasn't really interested. I just about to go meet a PGH comic expert, buy some stuff off of him. So. All in all, it was a great, great Sunday or Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> I said Sunday in the beginning. Of the uh, let's see what else. I also went to Half Price Books. Picked up a couple of things from there. Picked up uh, Kick Ass Two. Um, I had the first one of this, the the series. Uh, but I didn't like Kick Ass Two, the movie, so I'm not sure how that ties in with it at all if it does it all whatever so um, we shall see of course you know if i see something like this for a dollar i'm picking up the texas chainsaw massacre issue one uh 
Yeah, I'm not sure if it's in the movie adaptation, but it's this is sorry, this is issue three. Yeah, I'm making some mistakes here. That's all right. Issue three. <laughs> and I got issue two. I got this one right. Uh, been trying to put this series for a long time, like three weeks. But uh, seriously, yeah, I found uh, this for five dollars. Night of Living Deadpool issue two. I got uh, three and four. So I'm just gonna be on the lookout for issue one. If there's a second printing, I'm just gonna buy it. I don't really care. Um, that's everything today. Uh, I still got my Batman, my Daredevil haul. These will be coming out soon. I'm hoping to have one on Sunday. I'm probably gonna do Darede Daredevil first, then I'll do uh, Batman sometime next week. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope I get some time. Nobody else is sick in this house. So <laughs> uh, also you gotta do Summer Five Comic Guys. Zombie apocalypse quiz. I got them. I'm probably gonna do that one next, actually. So, again, check out PJ Comic Expert. I'll leave his link down below. Subscribe him. Really cool dude. Um, and that's it. I'll talk to you next time.